we're showing you a little bit of an introduction as to what to expect uh, coming here on a first meeting, what the procedure is. First, you'll get to our office, and did I say, if you got this far, I'm assuming you took advantage of our free parking. Yes, we have free parking downtown. So take advantage of that, ask us how to go about doing that. But here's our office set up here. Uh, we have an entryway, we've got a receptionist. Typically, you'll come in here, the receptionist will ask you who you are, and then the attorney will come out and greet you. And then we'll take you into a conference room. So we'll continue on when we get to the conference room. Hi, Mike Bruno again with the Charles Boyd Law Offices. You've got a legal problem, you've called, you've scheduled an appointment, and you've arrived at our office in Toledo, Ohio for that appointment. Here's a little bit about what you can expect uh, to go through on that first appointment. First of all, we've got a staff uh, that is very accommodating. The staff is going to ask you if you'd like any liquid beverage. We're talking coffee, ice water, we have soft drinks available. We don't have a full restaurant here, so you're not going to be sitting down eating a three-course meal, but we want to make sure that you're as comfortable as possible. Then the lawyer is going to come greet you and probably take you into a conference room. Now this room I'm in here is our large conference room. As you can see, there's a table here that can accommodate a number of people. So if you're coming together with family members, uh, that's fine. We have enough room here. Even if you have small children, we've got some stuffed animals, we've got some coloring books to keep them occupied, as well as a television set if they uh, want to watch some uh, cartoons or something of that nature. In any event, uh, we'll be sitting down at the table. When you first get to the office, and I'm talking, this is your first appointment uh, with the Charles Boyd Law Office, one of the things we want to make sure is that you have information, okay? And one of the things we do real well here is provide you with lots of information. What I have here is a packet that I'm going to be handing to you, and the packet contains all kinds of free information about cases, about claims. And depending upon your situation, we're going to have a book uh, that answers some simple questions. This is the Ohio accident book, which I would hand to someone who'd been involved in a car accident case. So these are things we'll be handing out. Uh, also has my business card within this, which has all my contact information, telephone, fax, email, you name it. So that's going to be handed to you. The next thing I want to do is find out a little bit about your situation. Basically, it's a listening process. You have a story to tell, you've got a legal problem, and I'm here to listen to what your story is. Now, depending on the complexity of your story and your situation, I might have a legal assistant in the room to take notes. And this is just a second set of eyes and ears to make sure we don't miss anything. So basically, what I want to do is listen and hear your story. Let you talk, tell me what's going on, what brought you into the Charles Boyd Law Offices in the first place. Once I hear you tell your story, I'm probably going to have several questions to ask, basically to get follow-up information, to fill in the blanks. And while I'm ans asking those questions, I'll probably be writing down notes, okay? Furthermore, we're going to need your information. This is contact information, so of course we're going to be asking the name, dates of birth, contact information of that nature. So once we get done with that situation, what I would do is basically advise you on a course of action. Give you your options. Okay? You can do A, you can do B, you can do C. One of those options may not even require you to hire a lawyer in the first place. If uh, you elect to retain the Charles Boyd Law Offices, there's going to be several different forms that we're going to be looking over. Uh, there's a fee agreement form, and essentially what we do in this office is we handle cases on a percentage basis. But the uh, ethics rules governing lawyers require that those agreements be done on more than a handshake basis. In other words, we have to have a written agreement by all parties. So here's an indication of a form we would use. I would fill in the blanks on this form, explain what it says, allow you an opportunity to review it, 
and then if we come to an agreement on that, you would sign the form, I would sign the form, and you would leave the office with a copy of that agreement. Furthermore, if the nature of your visit is a personal injury, we're going to need to get access to your medical records. So you'll be signing documents which would allow us the ability to retrieve your medical records so that we could send those on to the insurance company, the industrial commission, whoever the uh, payor would be on the case. Uh, that's a little bit of a snapshot. Typically these visits uh, last anywhere from 30 minutes to 60 minutes. If it's a very complex case, we'll make additional time available for you. Uh, if it's uh, not a, a very difficult fact situation, you may leave the office in 15, 20 minutes. It all depends. Uh, but what we want to make sure is that we hear you say what has happened to you and that we understand what has happened to you so that we can advise you of your legal rights and you can proceed on a course of action together with a partner, with a lawyer who is experienced in personal injury cases and you feel comfortable about that relationship. So that's a little bit of a snapshot as to what goes on. When the forms are being signed, you may be dealing with the lawyer and a paralegal who would come in and assist. A paralegal is simply, uh, again, a second set of eyes and ears for the lawyer so that we make sure we have all the information. And then once we get all the information, we would walk you to the door, uh, validate your parking pass, and you'd be on your way. And uh, that would be the end of the first visit to the Charles Boyd Law Offices.